Hey everyone, it's Bethany. Welcome back to my channel. If you're brand new, please be sure to subscribe. So many fun things coming up. We are getting ready for that holiday season. It's going to get super fun. But in this video, I had a really fun idea to head to the Dollar Tree and find 12 crafting blanks that we can use at our craft table. So in this video, I'm gonna share 12 things that I found. Of course, I could find so much more, but I thought I'd start with 12 and see how you enjoyed this. And these are 12 things that I really think are worth picking up next time you go to Dollar Tree. With gift giving coming up, I feel like Dollar Tree is a wonderful place to find little fun blanks that you can decorate and give as gifts. So let's go ahead and get started. Be sure to give this a thumbs up if you are ready to go. And let's start with the first craft. Also, as a reminder, everything will be linked down in the description box below this video if you want to take a closer look at anything. Okay, so so many ideas. In fact, I could probably do another video all about Dollar Tree items because there are so many things to choose from. But let's start with this video, and if we love this, then I will do an encore. So this is a really neat little ceramic piece, and they came in a variety of shapes. I think I also picked up some hexagons, but they were in the little crafting section. I love a ceramic piece because I think it just looks really classy and high-end, but also because it's really easy to decorate with vinyl. So to start, what I'm going to do is I am going to just clean the surface with some rubbing alcohol. And I'm just taking my little rubbing alcohol spray bottle. I'm just going to spray the surface to remove any oil or dust that could have gotten on it, either from handling it myself or from just sitting on the shelf in this case, hanging on the shelf. So I went ahead and I cut out a really cute SVG. I will, as always, link all the materials and link all of the designs that I am using in the description box below the video. That way, if you wanna recreate any of these things, or if you see a design that you really just want to use on another project, then you will be able to quickly find that down below. So I am just using some black adhesive vinyl, and I saw a cute SVG. In fact, I've used this before. I made a cutting board out of this. It was so cute. In fact, it's still in my kitchen. I love it so much because this design is just so cute. But this just says, bless this home, which I thought would be so cute on this little ceramic house, right? I just think it would be really sweet. You could do a, um, what is it when people buy a home? Goodness, words are escaping me today. A uh, housewarming. This would be a cute little housewarming gift, something like that. So, be sure to check out that little section because these little ceramic pieces are so easy to decorate and they make for a really fun little gift. Okay, now that I have my design all weeded, I'm just going to take some of my favorite transfer tape, place it over the design, and my surface is all clean, so now I can just burnish down the front. And then I personally find it best to flip over burnish the back. That way you just make quick and easy work out of peeling off this carrier sheet. Okay, so sometimes easy, sometimes not, but we will just be patient, right? And when you have smaller designs with some delicate, oh, I'm going to reburnish, um, delicate little pieces, sometimes it can require just a little bit of patience, but get it done. Okay, so just nudging down any pieces that want to come up, just taking my time, but not too bad. Okay, so there we go. Now I'm just going to center this on my little house here. I think that will be so cute. Oh, I love the size. That looks so sweet. Okay, centering the best that I can, but there we go. Pardon my heater in the background. It has gotten very chilly in our area. In fact, the snow hats came out today. We do not have snow, thank goodness. At the time of recording this, it's October, but oh my goodness, it, um, it got cold in a hurry, and we had a little bit of freezing temperatures, but Pardon the heater, but it is chilly. Okay, 
peeling that off, but oh my goodness, that's so cute. I love the contrast of the black vinyl. I think that is just so sweet. And look at this. This came from Dollar Tree, but this looks so high end once you find that really cute design to put on the front. So I love this. Very great idea for a housewarming gift or really just a gift in general, but I love it. You can always take it a step further and replace this twine if you did not want to use that. You could use a ribbon, but honestly, I think that's super cute. Dollar Tree has really wonderful mugs and a new favorite of mine is this mug here. And I'll tell you why. First of all, it's nice and white, which makes it so fun for decorating because you can do any types of colored vinyl on there. And I just love a nice, simple white mug. Another reason is because it is not curved. It is very, very straight, which makes applying vinyl very easy. Now, if you did get a mug that has more of a curved surface, you absolutely can still put vinyl on it. In fact, I will link a video up here on tips on how to apply vinyl to a curved surface. But I love this mug. I think it's pretty. And I also really love, and I know this is so simple, but I love this little ledge at the top. I just think that something so simple looks so pretty and it just really elevated the design. So I'm again going to just apply some rubbing alcohol to the surface for the same reasons. It just helps the vinyl to successfully stay onto the mug if you have a really nice and clean surface. Plus, I like to craft with lotion on my hands. So, especially in these colder weather uh, days when it's just, just so dry. But it helps to remove any oils that may have been transferred from having lotion on. Okay, I found a really, really cute design and I thought this would make a very cute mug. It says, pray and praise. I thought it was just so sweet. So I am going to apply this to my mug. Now a few reminders about mugs. You want to make sure that you hand wash them only and you also want to make sure that you avoid the microwave. So those are just two things you want to remind someone if you are going to give them a decorated mug with a vinyl and that will just help them last longer. Okay there we go. I think that looks really good. Another thing is vinyl is not food safe. So when you are putting your design on your mug, you want to give a generous amount of room for the person to sip. So you want to give enough room for their lip to be able to sip their beverage without coming into contact with the vinyl. So just another reminder when you're sizing your design. I'm just going to reuse this transfer tape that I used on the previous project. Burnish down the front and back and place this right on the mug. Okay, there we go. Another thing that I love is this cup cradle. It really, really makes applying vinyl to a curved or rolling type object very easy because it's like your third hand. So I'll link it down below as well. I love it. It's the same place that I purchased my little caddies from, which always are linked in the description box below my video. Another question I get is whether to put the um, design on the side with the handle on the right or the side with the handle on the left. That is absolutely personal preference. And in fact, you could duplicate your design and put it on both sides. So that is personal preference. Again, as a reminder, just give a couple inches or not a couple inches, but just a little area for one to sip. And I think right there it looks really nice. So I'm just gonna lay that down. I like to rub at the center and then rub towards the sides. And then I will go back in with my scraper and just reinforce that pressure to really get that laying nicely down. I really like that pink, it's so pretty. And I think it looks really nice on that mug. How pretty. Oh my goodness, I love it. I think that is such a cute design and I love the way that turned out. So Dollar Tree has a lot of fun drinkware. In fact, they have really cute stemless wine glasses that are amazing as well. I always pick up a few of those as well when I am there because they make for really fun gifts. So pick up a few little mugs and wine glasses because they are very, very fun and easy to decorate and make for the perfect gift. 
Dollar Tree also has these really neat wood pieces. They come in a shorter size, but I've also picked them up in a longer size as well. And I have quite the collection of these because whenever I see them, I grab some because these make for really fun gifts and they make for a really fun opportunity for home decor. I like to apply, now they come in a bare wood just like this, but I like to apply a couple layers of chalk paint to the surface. It's really, really nice, easy way to just get a really nice blank slate. And then I like to apply some vinyl to them. So I found a cute, cute design and I really loved the meaning of it and just the whole idea of it. I thought it'd be so cute for a piece of home decor. But this says, look what we made. I just thought that was so pretty in a saying, right? For maybe just putting in a family room and just, I also think it would be so neat to put like on a gallery wall and just to show, you know, the life that you've created, right? The life and family that you've created. I just think that's so neat. So I went ahead and printed, or I'm sorry, I cut this out of a really nice gray vinyl. I just really love a very soft gray. I also really like to just paint the top or the front of my wood blank. I like the dimension that that offers, but you absolutely could, you know, do painting around both sides and the ends as well. It's just the look that I like, but go ahead and use your paint in any way that you like. I'm gonna go ahead and grab some transfer tape and we'll place this right on. Ooh, looks like I just barely got enough. If you have a longer piece like this, I like to take my transfer tape and just remove about an inch of that backer on the back. And then instead of pulling it all off at once, I like to just place a little bit of transfer tape onto my vinyl and then, making sure I weeded everything, but then you can just pull and lay the rest down. Ooh, looks like I got just enough there. Okay, that just helps because sometimes it can get really overwhelming if you have a larger or longer piece and you're trying to get a lot of sticky laid down at one time. So this way you just have little bits at a time to lay down and it helps to have a more successful transfer. Okay, let's go ahead and remove. And how cute, I actually picked up a lot of these because I thought, you know, in my annual, I do an annual uh, video about all the gifts I'm gonna make for Christmas, and I thought these would make really, really cute gifts. Plus, very quick and easy, right? You could just paint all of your boards at one time, and then, you know, do all your cutting and weeding, and then just go ahead and quickly get all of the vinyl applied at once. Plus, so easy to personalize. You could do family names and things like that. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure that I center this just so, and I think I think that looks, that looks good to me. So I'm just gonna lay that down. Whoop, hopefully I got that. Yep, I did, okay, ooh. Slight panic for just a second. Okay, press that really down and gently remove the transfer tape. Oh, that looks so nice. I love how that looks. You could also use your vinyl as a stencil and you could then paint if you'd like. I have a video on how to do that. Um, I'll place that in the top right corner as well if you want to make stencils with your Cricut. And then instead of applying vinyl, you could paint this, these words on or you know another design that you choose. But I love how this turned out. I think it's so simple, but it's just a really fun piece of decor. You could also do really fun holiday, holiday decor with something like this as well. I just love these little blanks because I feel like the possibilities are endless. In the picture frame section of Dollar Tree, there are these really neat frames. Now, ignore the sentiment. We are going to replace that and personalize this in our own way, but these are so easy to use. These also come with a nice wood or faux wood frame, but I love the white ones. I think they're just really, really pretty. And in the end, I think they just look really, really polished and nice when done. So all you're going to do is you're going to take off the back. Now, if you've been following me for a while, you know exactly where I'm going with this because I have made these so many times. In fact, every time at, I'm at Dollar Tree, I get more of these because they are just one of the neatest things to do with my Cricut machine, in my opinion, and they make the real, 
really, really pretty pieces of decor. Okay, I'm gonna measure my surface area. It looks like I have five inches by five inches. So I'll bring in a piece of cardstock and I am simply going to, and I'm gonna go just a hair under five inches, but I'm gonna cut five inches by five inches. Again, just about a hair under. And I'm gonna use my cardstock to cover up this sentiment. You could also use patterned paper as well, or you could use vinyl to cover this up. I really like using cardstock because it's just really quick and easy, but it depends on the look that you're going for. Then you're just gonna close these little prongs, and then when you turn it over, you have a nice blank slate to work with. So what I did was I found an SVG that I thought was really, really cute and a piece of home decor that I would really like to have. And I cut it out on some black adhesive vinyl. You could also cut this out on HTV if you'd like, cause you can apply HTV to paper. So if you have a color that's in HTV, go for it. Because I do that quite often where I have a color in heat transfer vinyl instead, and you can absolutely Put heat transfer vinyl on cardstock. Okay, so I am going to just weed out my little centers here and I'm going to grab a different transfer tape. I'm going to grab a paper transfer tape and the reason is because I am going to be placing my design on a papery surface which is more delicate than say the wood pieces that we have been doing previously in this video. So in order to have a little bit more of a light grip transfer tape, I'm gonna go with a paper transfer tape because it will be gentler on my paper piece. That way when I go to take the transfer tape up and leave the design on my project, I don't actually rip the paper in that process. So I will link this paper transfer tape down below. I've had the same roll for so long. It is amazing transfer tape, a little bit more low tack. And I'm just going to place that over my design and I will trim that down in just a moment, but I just rip it off the roll and makes for really, really easy crafting. Okay, so now I'm gonna turn it over just like I would with my previous transfer tape and I burnish the back. Okay, before I remove my vinyl, I'm just going to trim. That way I have a nice, small piece going into this surface. It will really help me lining everything up. Okay, just gonna double check that it's all burnished down and then I like to keep my uh, vinyl side face down and then simply peel up. Okay, and it just transfers like butter, I love it. I'm bringing in my frame. I loved this phrase, give it to God and go to sleep because honestly, I really need to remember this quite often. I think I like the spacing there. So I'm gonna go ahead and just transfer that down. I'm just gonna rub it lightly with my fingers and then I will press with my scraper. Okay, so this is the part I was talking about, which makes it very important that you use a light grip transfer tape or this paper transfer tape. So if you were using a regular piece of transfer tape that's a little bit more stronger in grip, this part would be a little difficult because it would want to rip your paper. But because this is so low tack and it's a nice paper transfer tape, it comes off perfectly without disrupting the paper. How pretty is that? If you remember what it initially was, it was just a cute little piece of decor that said happily ever after, I believe, but you can completely transform it into anything that you wish. These are really fun pieces to make during the holidays. You can switch them out. If you notice, I just inserted a piece of paper. I didn't even tape it down or anything. So if you honestly wanted to reinsert a piece of paper with a different sentiment each and every month or holiday, you could do that. But these are so fun. I love the little wood bead element. And I think these are definitely worth a trip to the dollar store. 
Okay, a project that I love to do over and over again, and if you've been around my channel a while, you know exactly what I'm gonna do with this, but I wanna inspire you with when you find these little wooden blanks. So they have these little wood animal shapes in the crafting section. I'm just removing this little tab here. And they are super neat. You can get hearts and circles and all sorts of things, but I love using these with patterned paper. So I'm gonna start this project right now, but we will end it a little bit later in the video because it takes a little bit of time to dry. So let me just remove this really quickly. And okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to take some Mod Podge and a foam brush. And the Mod Podge is going to be our adhesive. So I'm just gonna take that and always start in the center and then brush out. So you want to do, well, it's really hard, right? You don't wanna to do too much because you don't want your paper to become soggy. Although the thicker paper you use, the better. Um, but you also want enough for your paper to stick really nicely. So I always want to recommend that you go from the center out, that way you're not getting drips down the side of your blank. That makes sense. Okay, so I'm just applying this adhesive, if you will. And this is really fun because you can take any type of pattern paper that you'd like and you can just really have fun really transforming a piece like this. So continuing with the glue and that almost might be a little heavy handed, although I'm not too worried about it because I do have a very thick cardstock that I am using. So what I'm going to do is I am going to move this to the side, bring my paper over and I'm going to place my paper um, side down. That way I can grab my little shape with the adhesive and then place it right on my paper. Oop, make sure it's aligned so all of it is covered by paper. And now I'm just going to press press, 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 and then I will turn this over. And I like to take my brayer tool and I just like to run it over the surface. That way I know that the paper is really, really flat and even across my wood shape. And I don't know that, th th I don't think this is actual wood. I keep calling it wood. It's probably like a little particle board type item, but Regardless, this is a fun little way to decorate. Of course, you could always paint this or simply apply vinyl, but here is just another inspiration of how you can approach a piece like this. Okay, once I've done that, all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my piece and I am going to go set it under something heavy and that is just going to help it all set. And then later we will trim this out and decorate it. Okay, another thing I found recently at Dollar Tree was this really pretty wood slat sign. I really loved it. It came in a natural wood, but of course I applied a couple layers of my favorite chalk paint to the surface just to give it a nice fresh look. I also found these really nice little wood pieces. They came in a pack of, I had to go check, eight, and they also came in a bare natural wood, but I applied some pink chalk paint to the front, and these are so nice to layer. So sometimes when you get a piece like this, it's kind of hard to get inspired with it because there's only so many areas that you can put vinyl on, right? But I love using these pieces to layer on because it adds some visual interest behind, and it's also a really easy way to decorate. So I thought I would make a really fun little teacher gift, and so I brought a a little bit of scrap vinyl from my bin. Always shop your little scrap pieces. But I also really love shopping at Dollar Tree for teacher gifts, especially if you have a lot of kiddos and a lot of teachers in your life to gift things to. So it's always fun to shop Dollar Tree and then just craft something really cute out of the things that you find there. So I am going to just take all of the little middle pieces out. I will have font information linked below. It's such a fun little font. But I thought it would be fun to layer this little apple on here. And of course you could paint this red. I just really love a pink apple. I think it's so fun. And then add a little sentiment at the bottom. I thought this would be so simple and so easy. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hot glue. I'm gonna apply it all over the surface area and wherever it sticks, it sticks. Wherever it doesn't, it will dry. But I'm gonna center that nice and there. I really like that. Okay, so I'm gonna press that down. That looks really, really nice. And then grabbing some transfer tape, 
Again, reusing from an earlier project. Just trim this down to the size that I need and we'll burnish on the front and back. Okay, taking off that carrier sheet and then centering the best that I can right on this bottom piece. And how quick and easy was that? I think this is so fun and so simple. Okay. And again, you could personalize with the teacher's name, which would be even cuter. I just love that. And just with some simple ribbon that I found in my stash, I did not find this ribbon at Dollar Tree, but you certainly can find ribbon at Dollar Tree. But I thought I would cover this little hole with this ribbon, not only to cover the hole, but also just to add a little bit of dimension to this piece and a little bit more visual interest. I really like how that looks. So simple, but it makes for just a fun little gift. Okay, especially with the holidays coming up, these little boxes definitely come in handy. These are very fun for gift giving and I love just how simple and plain they are because they give the opportunity to decorate. I have found them in a square shape. I've also found them in this nice circular shape. I don't know if they have any other additional shapes, but I love both. So all I'm going to do is I went ahead and used a measuring tape to measure how big my top of the box is and then all I did was found a piece of scrap vinyl that I had laying around again save all of your scraps because not only do they come in handy but they also make gift giving even more affordable but I just cut out a nice circle and I'm just going to decorate the top of this box by placing some patterned adhesive vinyl down on the top I think that is so super cute then on the side I also cut out a little sentiment and I'm just going to place that on the side. Now I'll link font information down below just like always. This is actually one of my favorite fonts that I've ever used. It's one of those fonts where no matter what you write, everything always looks really beautiful and I love that about it. So it tends to be my go-to. So let me get all of the little middles, but I just typed out for you, kept it really, really simple and we're just going to make a cute little gift box. As always, we're using transfer tape from an earlier project and we'll burnish the front and the back. Using my little cup cradle to steady my piece and I will take the liner off of my design, leaving the vinyl on the transfer tape. And then I'm simply going to, let's bring this towards me just a little bit. One thing you wanna do is make sure that that lid is nice and on the box, right? Because you wanna know what kind of surface area that you have. If you had the lid off, then you may miscenter it. And then once the lid goes down, your sentiment could be covered. So make sure you have your lid nice and tight on the box where it needs to be before putting your vinyl down. Okay, I'm just gonna center that right where I think looks best. And just a simple for you. Okay. With Christmas coming up too, you could put individual names on each box. If you are doing neighbor gifts, you could put the neighbor's last name on there, which would be so, so thoughtful and such a good idea. Wow, that one almost got ruined, but go nice and slow. In fact, you know, I, I'm having, um, really good luck with this transfer tape but you may want to use that paper transfer tape given that this is a little bit more of a papery box so far this is working really well although it doesn't really want to stick but it will once once it lays down um, but be mindful if you're using a stronger transfer tape like this maybe go slow also i have reused this a couple times within the projects i'm doing today so it may have lost its sticky but in fact, maybe you should use that little paper transfer tape just as advice. So very, very simple little box. I love how that turned out. And it's just another way to look at these little boxes when you see them at Dollar Tree. Another fun piece that I love picking up at Dollar Tree are these long wood signs. They're really nice and they have a little rope at the top. They do come in bare wood, but as always, I applied chalk paint to the surface just to give it a really fresh look. These are called wood hanging decor and they are just in the craft section. So when you go pick up a few because these are also a really fun way to decorate for the holidays. In fact, on my channel so far this season, I've made at least one of these. Um, in fact, just recently because I did one for Halloween. 
So I have three pieces of vinyl and I thought we would make a really fun, colorful piece. I found this SVG that I thought was so pretty and you can use it to make a traditional long porch sign, like the really big ones for your front porch. Or if you have a smaller space, like this little um, long piece of home decor, you could also use it for this. So I'm just going to weed out all of the little centers. This has a little greenery element to it and then our little welcome. So I would love to hear in the comment section below the video, what are some of your go-to must-haves from Dollar Tree when it comes to crafting? I love hearing your ideas as well. And I love going there every once in a while because I love when they change out items for the season. And I just think it's a wonderful way not only to keep crafting costs down, but just a wonderful way to just get inspired with your Cricut machine, right? There's just so many fun little things, especially when you're first starting out as well and you are kind of getting your sea legs, right? With, with um, decorating and cutting out. I loved using Dollar Tree for blanks just because if you mess up, no big deal, right? So definitely let me know what your favorite things to pick up at the Dollar Tree are. Okay, so we have this little element that's going to go at the bottom. Then we have this long piece that's going to say home. And I'm gonna get it started, but I'm also going to place a little magnet up there just to keep it nice and steady while I weed the whole thing. Okay, there we go. And okay, looks good. And one last little element. The welcome to our. And of course you could use any colors of vinyl that you wish. Honestly, these colors I think were on the example for the SVG and I thought they were just so well done. And luckily I had all of these pieces of vinyl that I could use in the coordinating colors. So I thought this was really cute. Okay, let's go ahead and do this one by one. So it's going to, let's see, how does this go? It says home here. And let's get this all in frame. And then it will say, welcome to our. Oh, that's so pretty. And it's gonna look so fresh with those nice contrasting colors on the white chalk paint. Okay, this is not quite big enough, but I am going to make it work. I like to start from the bottom up. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with this little greenery piece and I'm gonna go front and back. Now this is a removable vinyl. I often use removable vinyl on my um, signs. I know that the sign in particular will be an indoor sign and removable vinyl is, removable vinyl is absolutely fine. Of course you wanna opt for a permanent vinyl if this is going to go outdoors or if you are going to be placing it on something such as a mug or drinkware that's going to get wet. Okay, I'm going to place this as center as I can down here, and then we will build this sign from there. Okay, so laying that down, let's grab a scraper. There we go, oh goodness, I just, Let's see, easy peasy, we can fix it. A little surgery in just a moment. Okay, that is why you want your transfer tape to be the same size, but it's gonna be just fine. In fact, we won't even know in the end because we're just going to take some tweezers and simply place it right where it belongs. Okay, there we go and it's like it never happened. Okay, no problem. So now I think I'll do the home next. I think that will be easiest for centering. Okay, so same little trick with this longer piece that we did last time. In fact, let me remove some of the items just so that we can really successfully transfer this, but just grab about an inch to an inch and a half, fold down that back piece just like so, and then you can place 
and pull to lay it down really smoothly and easily. Okay, there we go. I also really love Dollar Tree for holiday time because sometimes it is a little overwhelming the number of gifts or people that sometimes it feels like we need to gift, right? So things like teachers and neighbors and coworkers and Bible study friends. So I just feel like it's a really wonderful way to still be able to gift and create, but um, do it on a little bit more of a manageable level, right? Can get a little expensive around the holidays. Okay, I think that that looks really nice just like so. So I'm going to go ahead and burnish that down. Nice and smooth. Oh, this looks so pretty. Okay, and then I'll reuse this piece, being careful not to scratch my paint. But I'll reuse this on my final element of this sign. Okay, just placing it down on this final sentiment, cut off what we don't need. Sometimes that's helpful. Sometimes if you have too much, it can make it a little bit overwhelming. Okay, burnishing front and back. Given how affordable these little signs are at, well, in my area, it's $1.25, but wouldn't it be cute to pick up 12 of these and for a gift make someone a sign for every month of the year. I think that would be so pretty, such as having a wintry one for January, something more Valentine's themed for February, and so on and so forth. I think that would be such a sweet gesture and you could really have fun with it. Okay, so I am just going to turn over here for this part and I'm gonna center visually and we'll lay that down. Okay, I think that looks nice. Welcome to our home. So pretty, and I really love the color combinations. Okay, so final piece, and there we have it. So a Dollar Tree long sign. I love these for the inside of a front door because it's a nice long space to decorate, but very, very pretty. Again, you could take this a step further and replace this rope with some ribbon if you'd like. I actually really like this organic look that this rope offers, and I think it pairs well with this sign and the colors. So I'm gonna leave it, but you could always do that as well. While we're not going to decorate both, I did want to show you that this next little blank that I found at Dollar Tree does come in a whiteboard version and a blackboard version. So I picked up both to show you, and I think these are so nice. So they also have a little rope hanger as well, and these are just so fun. I cut out a really cute design on some pink adhesive vinyl that I thought would be a really neat little piece of decor for my little girl. So I'm going to get this weeded and we'll place it right on the sign. Oh my goodness, that one tested my patience quite a few times. It sure did not want me to succeed, but I stuck with it and got it done. Now there are little pieces inside of these two vines on the top and the bottom. However, I am going to make the decision to leave those in there because I think they're pretty as is and I just think it may be a little too delicate. So I am going to take my transfer tape and lay it down right on this design. I thought this design was so cute and precious. It says, you are loved for the girl you are, the woman you will become, and the precious daughter you will always be. And I thought it was so cute. And I really wanted to put it on a nice 
just clean blank like this. I really thought this was perfect. Oh, I need to add a little bit of rubbing alcohol really quickly before I forget. And cutting it out of the nice pink vinyl I thought was going to be a really pretty contrast. Plus it will just make it nice and sweet. Okay, so that is nice and clean. And we'll just do lather, rinse, repeat, burnishing the front and the back. Oh, I love it. My goodness, it was a stinker, but it was so worth it. So I'm going to lay that down. And I think that's so cute. And there we go. I think that's just a really simple piece of decor and I think it's so meaningful and fun. So there's another idea. Of course, you could do the blackboard option as well, but these are so simple, no painting required, and you can do a variety of really fun things, especially for the holidays, and just really have fun with this. All right, let's continue on. Another fun little piece of decor that I found at the Dollar Tree is this wood hanging decor. I found it in a circle, but I also found it in a heart as well. These are really, really fun. And I saved the heart for a Valentine's Day project, but I thought that the wood was a really, really universal shape. Um, or I'm sorry, the circle was a very universal shape. So I picked that one up and I applied a couple layers of chalk paint just like normal to the surface found a little scrap of vinyl, and I thought this would just be a really fun little gift to give to someone. So using a really pretty navy vinyl, I saw this SVG and I thought this was just so sweet, and I thought it would make the perfect little idea for this fun little wood round. Okay, and just reusing some transfer tape. We'll burnish the front and back and trim this down. And there we go. I love a navy on a nice, white paint. I think it's so pretty. Just center and making sure that your little hanger is right side up perfectly centered. And there we go. Life is better with you. I think that is so cute and pretty. Just a fun little gift and let me know what other ideas you'd have for this little circular blank. I think these are so so fun and I love how that turned out. Again I like to leave the sides Bear, I just think it looks really, really nice. And as always, be sure to replace this little rope if you'd like to opt for something different, but I kind of think this looks really fun. And it almost looks a little nautical with this rope and then the navy and white. Circling back to this piece, I'm simply going to grab a self-healing cutting mat because now I'm going to trim around. I think it'll be easier if I actually just trim really quickly the bulk of this paper off. And I can save this for another project, but it's been drying for quite a while. Really doesn't need too long, but I'm gonna use my true control knife and I'm just going to follow the perimeter and trim this out. Okay, and then once you turn it over, it is so, so pretty. And based on the pattern paper that you choose, you could make this look so different each and every time. Now you could take a sander and sand the edges if you wish. I've never done that and I've always been really happy with the edges, but if you wanted to give it like a distressed look too, that would be so fun. But let's go ahead and just take this a step further and bring a little shine in. Okay, I love the idea of bringing just a little bit of fun embellishment in just to bring it some fun dimension and also some sparkle. So I just thought it'd be neat to place some all around just to give a little bit of fun shine and just liven it up a bit. Okay, so I just randomly placed some glue down and trying not to do anything too methodical, but simply just having some fun. Now, this would be super fun if you wanted to um, also layer this on another piece of wood and I think that would be super, super fun as well. But I love this idea of just using the wood for the shape, right? And the sturdiness, of course, but then bringing in, sorry, I'm trying to get the other side of that little sequence, but then just bringing in something super fun in pattern for the whole front of it. I think that's so fun. Plus, can you imagine having so much fun for the holidays? with just the concept of this, right? 
and a super fun project for the kids too. So I would think the grown up should probably do the um, paper part and the scoring, but then this would be a fun way for kids to have fun with decorating. So I think this is kind of fun. It's just another way to look at these fun little items at Dollar Tree, but super fun. It's just a nice little fun piece and another little inspirational piece that you can pick up in that little craft section. Okay, really quickly, I'm gonna set my Easy Press to medium. That's just the two wavy marks, if you will, on the Easy Press Mini. And I found this really neat tall burlap bag in the craft section, and I am going to attempt some iron-on on it. I am a little nervous just because the inside kind of seems a little bit um, plasticky, if you will. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place some cardstock inside, that way, um, I'm just worried that when it heats up that it will want to stick to one another. But I believe on the um, little box that this was in, I think it said iron on project or something like that. So I'm gonna attempt it and I found some glitter iron on because I'm this is more of a burlap, right? So it has a high texture to it. So if you put regular iron-on on it, I feel like since iron-on is so thin that you may see some of the texture show through, but with the glitter iron-on, it is a tad thicker, plus it has the texture of glitter, and I think that that is going to help to not see that burlap texture come through. I hope that makes sense, but just given the thickness of the glitter iron-on, I think it's a better choice for putting it on a texture such as burlap. So I'm just gonna weed this out. I found this cute SVG. I've had it saved for quite a while in my favorites and when I saw this bag, it was the perfect opportunity to use this. This is also a scrap piece of iron-on that I had in my scrap bin. So this is a very affordable little craft that will come together. Okay, and as a reminder, when doing iron-on, make sure that you mirror your image and do shiny side down when placing your material on the mat. If you do need help doing iron-on, I have an entire playlist called HTV Crafts. The term HTV and iron-on is used interchangeably. It just depends on the company, honestly, that is marketing it based on what they call it, but HTV, heat transfer vinyl, and iron-on are the same thing. Okay, one little piece here and making sure I don't have any other scrap pieces, but this is so cute. It says crafting is my therapy, and I thought it was so perfect for this little bag. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna place a piece of cardstock in between and always, always just monitor the project that you have in front of you. So I'm gonna monitor mine, you monitor yours. And when I say monitor, I mean based on what temp that you think is best. I'm gonna try medium for about 30 seconds based on what I looked up on the heat guide. But isn't that cute? I thought this was so cute. Oops, I have another little straggler. There we go. Okay, crafting is my therapy. I didn't preheat that, but I probably should have. I think it's gonna be okay. Okay, I think I like the placement there. So now I'm just going to move around as I go. Now the Easy Press Mini is intended to be moved as you iron on. So I just kind of rotate around. Again, it recommended 30 seconds. So I'm gonna do that. Um, but I'm also gonna be monitoring it. So you know, if you think that it's, it's on and good to go, you could opt to do a little less but let's see how this works out. Okay, I am nowhere near 30 seconds and I feel like it is down. So I'm going to, yeah, it looks really good. Again, nowhere near, I'm gonna do a little bit more, a little bit more right here. Um, nowhere near that 30 second mark and I could just tell that the iron on was down. Okay, there it is. That looks really, really good. I feel like it may have kind of um, puckered just a little bit, but not too bad. And the inside, gosh, the inside feels great. I think that looks really nice. 
Okay, so cute little bag. These would be really fun teacher gifts as well. You could put the teacher's name on there. These would be fun for uh, library book bags, things like that. But I love it. I think it's super cute. I love the burlap look of it too. And I think with the gold, or I'm sorry, the white uh, glitter vinyl on there, you definitely can't see the texture through it. So I think that that was a good option. Okay, there's another little piece of inspiration. This would be very fun for gift giving in the holidays that are coming up. And we've made it to our final craft. Oh my goodness. This is a really fun little caddy that I found. And they had them in a variety of colors. In fact, they were all really nice pastel colors. Of course, my love for pink. I picked up the pink one. And I really wanted this as a little piece of organization for my craft room. I love having little pieces like this. And I thought this was the perfect size to just have. Even if you, I have something for my weeding tools. But this would be really nice for your little weeding tools tools and such. So I am going to just as I love to do put my little monogram on the front of it. I think that will be so cute. So for this final idea less of a blank really that you could use but more of an organizational tool. So these would also be really really fun for kids if you have a little craft cart in your home or a craft area that you need to organize. This is a great great little source. Applying that rubbing alcohol just to the top here, just to make sure it is all nice and good to go. And I have all things falling in the craft room now because we have done a lot of crafting. I think this is just about the right size to reuse, yes. So definitely reuse a lot of transfer tape. That is so gratifying and the final project is going to help add another little element of organization to my space. So can't go wrong with that. I just made this monogram in Cricut Design Space and their new little monogram builder. I love it. It makes quick and easy work out of monogramming. And if you know me, I love putting my monogram on all the things. So I thought this would be so cute. I'm going to center that the best that I can. And oh goodness. Leave it to the last craft, right? Okay, there we go. I think that looks really nice. Burnish down. And peel up. Again, these came in such a variety of colors. So this would be a really fun gift as well. If you were going to build up a little basket, if you will, this would be fun for teachers to put little craft supplies or um, classroom supplies in too and then put their name on it. I think that would be so cute. I also like this idea for holding little nail polishes and accessories. I think that's so cute. If you wanted to gift someone a little spa tote, that would be fun as well. This is just the perfect size to build a little gift basket in and then place little necessities inside. Okay, there we go. So much inspiration. 12 ideas of things that you can find at Dollar Tree to really have fun with your Cricut. And I really think that this was just a fun example of ways to keep crafting costs down and ways to have fun with gift giving as well. Let me know which one was your favorite. I have two that are really still in my heart. Three that are really still in my heart. I love this. I'm instantly going to turn this video off and start organizing with this. I also, you know me, I love the beaded sign. That's so fun. And then the tote bag. I love how that turned out. And I'm going to go grab a few more of these because I think these would be really, really fun teacher gifts coming up this season. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know which one is your favorite. Let me know if you have found anything else at Dollar Tree that you think is definitely worth picking up for the craft space. And as always, let me know if you enjoyed this because if so, I am constantly inspired when I visit Dollar Tree and I will try to put together another post like this soon. All right, everyone, be sure to give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video.